Hi friends, this is Ron with Lakeshore, and today we're discovering textures using crayon rubbings. When you touch something, you discover its texture, whether it's grainy or bumpy or smooth. And we're going to discover textures through our crayon rubbings and make a game out of it. Before we go on, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some crayons. And if you take the wrapping off of the crayon, you'll have more of the crayon to use during the rubbing. You'll also need some paper, copy paper, construction paper, whatever you have at home. And you'll need a marker or a pencil. And we're going to use this to label our textures during the game. Now here are the two steps to play our game. The first step, go out and find different textures from around the house or outside and do a crayon rubbing for each one of those textures. And for each texture, use a whole sheet of paper. Now to do a crayon rubbing, take your sheet of paper and lay it across or hold it up against a surface that has texture. Here's a tip. Make sure the surface that you're using has some raised areas, that it's bumpy or grainy or has some ridges. That way your texture will really come through the paper. Then take your crayon and rub it across the entire paper. But try to keep your crayon near the middle of the paper so you're only putting crayon on the paper. You'll start to see the textures come through the paper as dark and light shades of that crayon. Step two, take your crayon rubbings to somebody and have them guess where they came from. Have them label their guess right there on the crayon rubbing. That way you can tell them which ones are right and which ones are gonna need a new guess. Or you can give them paper and crayons and have them go out and try to make crayon rubbings that match yours. Or you can play a game where everybody starts off at the same time. Everybody has paper, everybody has their crayons, and then roll a die. You may have one in the game you already have at home. And then the number that comes up is the number of textures everybody has to go out and find and do crayon rubbings. When everyone's done, you can come back and discuss where they came from. You can match them, you can compare them. Can you come up with a new way to play? No matter how you play, enjoy discovering textures with crayon rubbings. Keep watching our Learning at Home videos, plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.